Finally a setup I can upload my weekly on. Aw oh, shit! Zazazoom! Okay people, welcome back to another Foosh Weekly. <laughs> As always, I am Robo. And like most weeks, I barely know what day of the week it is, but I know for sure today is Thursday. Because I'm heading out of town again. There's a little con in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I'm going to go down and check that out. So the weekly comes on Thursday this week. Not a bad thing. I get to talk about toys a day earlier. That's just, mm, yeah. So we're just going to get on with it. We're going to talk about some Mattel. We're going to talk about some uh, mm, Metacom, some Square Enix, some Marvel Select, some Storm Collectibles, and then quite a bit of Hasbro. Also, we're going to be talking a lot about Amazon. For some reason, this week has just been on a tear. First up, Mattel and their Aquaman movie line. Amazon put up listings for the Aquaman with Warrior Shark and also Volko with Hammerhead. Now the cool thing about this, I, I, everybody knows I dig Aquaman in Justice League and wherever else he's shown up. I just dig on that version of Aquaman. He just seems like a perfect representation in real life of the Brave and the Bold Aquaman, which is just outrageous. Plus I can't pass up a shark. <laughs> and then Volko is of course being played by Willem Dafoe who I, I, Mattel did a good job of capturing the likeness here. Yes, it's their usual classics slash multiverse look to the figure, but you can actually see Defoe in the sculpt. And then again, another shark. What you gonna do? Now the Volko with Hammerhead is $19.99. The Aquaman with Warrior Shark is $29.99. And they both have a release date of October 1st, which is coming up quick to kind of coincide with the Aquaman movie wave of multiverse hitting stores right now. Kinda. Not to be outdone by Aquaman, also showing up in stores, kinda, is the Lex Luthor wave of, or well, the Walmart exclusive part of this wave, uh, that is Spoiler and Harley Quinn. Yes, these two figures you'll only find at Walmart, apparently the rest of the wave you'll be able to get anywhere else which seems to be kind of how the waves have been for the past couple of years. You only ever find a certain part of it and then you gotta go hunting or wait for the rest of that wave. Also, for a while, uh, they kind of stopped showing Simon Baz Green Lantern, so we thought he wasn't part of this wave anymore. Looking at the card back, he apparently is. Who knows? I guess we'll see when it actually comes out. Here's a newer picture of the Metacom Mafex Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider Unmasked Head. They say this is a sample, but I don't think it's a factory sample. I think it's a prototype still, because they say prototype later on in the blog entry. But it's cool to see an actual picture, and yes, I know, this is probably professionally painted, professionally sculpted. This is not what the final, well, we can hope this is what the final figure looks like, but this is probably a, pretty fied representation of what we might get. Robo, don't know, Dragon Quest. But Square Enix put up the Bring Arts Dragon Quest 11, uh, where'd it go? Echoes of an Elusive Age, Eric, or what's his other name? Camus. Like I said, Robo don't know. This could have been, you know, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaba for all I know. And I don't know Dragon Ball either. I have no clue what I'm talking about at this exact moment in time. Now, I don't have a lot of exposure to the Bring Arts line. It just feels like just a slightly smaller scale. But from what people tell me, the characters in these games, they're meant to be small. This figure is about 5.7 inches, which seems small, but we're used to the big old superheroes and big old bad guys and big old monsters and so getting a smaller action figure in your hands when you're not a three and three quarter inch collector or four inch I, I go back to those figures and I think oh so tiny I can't put the accessories in that's my own personal preference that's nothing against that scale that's just me but it comes with a base uh, two swords, boomerang, alternate hands, alternate faces, but I can't quite tell. It says interchangeable faces times two, which usually means there's three in all, but two of them may be different, but they don't look a lot different. I, who knows? It may be two. Robo no <laughs> Comes with a treasure chest and then comes with a Draki, whatever the hell a Draki is. Also from the Square Enix Bring Arts line, it's the Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora Christmas Town version and then the Halloween Town version. Good thing Robo knows Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Robo don't know Kingdom Hearts. Why is he wearing masks that don't cover his whole face? What the f 
fuck is a Keyblade? Now this is two different versions of Sora, and it looks like they both share a lot of parts, but I don't think they actually do. Maybe in the leg region or so, but they're two fairly unique figures. What they do share though are the Keyblades, whatever the f a Keyblade is. One looks like my mental picture of a Keyblade, the other looks like a Jack Skellington kind of nightmare before Christmas type Keyblade. They both come with alternate hands and then the Halloween version, like I, like I mentioned, comes with masks that he wears up on his forehead. That, those change out somehow. And I mentioned both these, the Dragon Quest one and the Kingdom Hearts figures, not because I, I'm trying to pimp them or anything, but because they are visually interesting, even to somebody who doesn't know jack about the licenses. I'm just down for good toys. That's, that's the basis of my life. Roof over my head, some food every now and then, take care of the family, good toys. Now both versions of Sora are $55 and they were released in March. Marvel Select, whose beast should be out next week, is it? Oh god, I hope. I'm 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 ready. I, I love X-Men figures. I want to see how this one came out. But now they're showing pictures of what well, we've seen it before at several shows, but they're Avengers Infinity War. Thor and Groot, Captain America, and Iron Spider. Thor and Groot are looking pretty cool. I, they didn't really put Thor into an exciting pose, but he looks like a good sculpt, looks like good overall proportions, but the team Groot really interests me. I'm one of those bastards that kind of mixes and matches. I buy Marvel Select to fit into my Marvel Legends line or my six inch scale display, and team Groot, I feel like, will fit pretty good in there. It looks like an excellent sculpt, good paint job, I may need that. Captain America, is Marvel Select one of the first companies to actually give us both shields? And check it out because they even give two versions of both shields. It's the fully extended version and it's the ones that, you know, snap down where they don't stick out very much. But Chris Evans, as this version of Captain America, seems to have one of those Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill looks, whereas the beard and the hair never gets done quite right into plastic form. That's not a knock on Marvel Select. It's better than the SH Figure Arts version. And then the Marvel Select Iron Spider. It's not 100% accurate. It could use some with some bibs and some bobs here and there. But I dig that the, the Waldos, the legs, they are the color of the costume, which apparently is what it is in the movie. I've never noticed it that far, but I've seen a lot of talk about it. A lot of convincing people online arguing for that fact. And hey, them not being gold, them being the actual colors of the suit, it's a little bit more attractive, I think. It fits in the overall scheme because it's the same color. Where am I going with this? Who knows? No prices, but it's probably going to be the standard Marvel Select prices for all these, and they release in December. We talked about the New York Comic Con exclusive Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Rain and Smoke last week. And I talked about Big Bad Toy Store probably getting bloody editions of these so that everyone else can have their rain and smokes. My psychic powers are extraordinary. Because Big Bad Toy Store has solicited bloody versions of Ermac, Rain, and Smoke. They come with all the same accessories as the exclusive versions. They're just bloody. All three are $55 and they release, uh, <laughs> they don't put a specific time on it. It's fourth quarter, 2018. You ready for some Marvel Legends news? then go check out Rectangular. <laughs> He's way more in depth than I am. But from what I can glean, Amazon put up listings for the next Avengers movie wave, which is apparently coming out next May. And much like we've seen with a bunch of waves lately, it, it, they do it for Star Wars too. And I think, do they do it for multi, I'm not sure. Does multiverse come out enough to get code names? <laughs> But we've also seen it with past Marvel Legends wave, Black Panther and the such. But they put up listings for Chameleon, Bobcat, Ibis, there's a cheetah, there's a team suit aardvark, and then a listing for a two pack of iguana and reindeer. Now they seem to go with a theme every time they do these kind of code names. I'm sure they're not releasing a figure in the Avengers movie wave of say chameleon or bobcat, especially aardvark. These are actually code names for characters in the movie and I, I'm not even going to try to guess which ones there are. There's been speculation that Cheetah may be Quicksilver, there may be some time traveling stuff going on, in the next Avengers movie, Quicksilver comes back, maybe, 
I don't know. But also on Amazon, their exclusive Marvel Legends Days of Future Past Sentinel and kind of Days of Future Past Wolverine, Old Man Wolverine, I wanted to call them, but it's not. It's Days of Future Past Wolverine. That's been popping in and out of stock over the past few days. It's a cool set, but I feel like I have 95% of this set. The only thing I don't have may be the gun holster and the white on the hair, just the white paint. So maybe 97.5% I already have of these figures. I haven't been in a super rush to actually, you know, nail it. It's been popping up for five, ten minutes at a time, sometimes early morning, mid-morning. If it's like past exclusives, it'll pop up more frequently and then just stay in stock for a little while. And the price on that is $99. Found on eBay is the Marvel Legends Into the Spider-Verse Miles and Gwen 2-pack. These are pretty much the same figures we already have. Slightly different decos. I think I like some of the colors used here more than their single releases. It looks like this is hitting Canada if this eBay auction is to be trusted. And then finally, are you sick of me saying Amazon yet? Amazon. 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 Amazon has leaked the movie characters from the Captain Marvel Marvel Legends wave. And I say leaked because the listings went up with shitty little pictures, kind of fuzzy. But instead of pulling them down like we see with a lot of the listings with the code names or the other products in a wave, they updated the pictures to be bigger <laughs> so you could see better and then put product descriptions to the listings. We have Nick Fury in suit. Uh, it looks like our standard suit body. There may be some changes up here to the tie, but the big thing is Nick Fury has both eyes. If I could find an Emilio Estevez figure, I could have my loaded weapon two pack. Star Force Commander, who by the description is more than likely Marvel. Talos the Scroll, played by director Krennic. It looks like a good figure. This may be an army builder, but it doesn't say anything about extras. Hopefully it comes with maybe an extra head, maybe some shape-shifting abilities to go with the figure. And then there's Captain Marvel. I'm digging this costume. It's movie-fied, yes, but it has a lot of roots in the comic design. But on top of that, you look at the head, at least in this picture, and it doesn't quite look like Brie Larson. But we see this a lot with the photo real stuff. The initial photos, the promo shots even, it looks, eh, okay, but then we get it in hand, and it, most of the time, not all the time, most of the time, it looks better when we get it in our mitts. Now, this is the only picture that says comes with alternate hands, and it comes with an alternate head, which also prompted Brie Larson herself to ask, what is the alternate head? Could it be the helmet? Could it be energy eyes? Could it be a different haircut? Could it be just a different expression? Who knows? That's what makes the game fun, is waiting. Oh, what's gonna, what are we getting? I don't know. The build figure for this wave is the Kree Sentry, and apparently there are three other figures in the wave. Presumably comic, because for some reason Amazon doesn't like to leak those, just the movie figures. A lot of people are guessing that one of those comic figures is the Genis Vale we saw at Comic-Con, which makes sense. Captain Marvel. There's some connection there. Now, I've had a few people ask about my thoughts on the Captain Marvel trailer, which my opinion. What's it matter? But I see a lot of gripes of Brie Larson acting wooden, stiff, you know, not a lot of emotion. But from what I can tell from the trailer, it's a fighter pilot that is abducted by an alien race and brainwashed to be a soldier in their army. How full of emotion do you expect someone like that to be? I mean, just basic thinking is going to be, oh yeah, brainwashed, soldier, you know, stiff, wooden, straight to the point. If you're looking to take the personality from the comics or what you think is the perfect Captain Marvel in a movie and applying that to the trailer and going, man, that sucks because that's not my Captain Marvel. That's not the story they're telling, but that's just my opinion. And that's it for this week. I guarantee something big and huge and important and groundbreaking will break tomorrow whenever I'm standing on a convention floor. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just talk about that next week. Who cares? It, whenever. The Captain Marvel stuff broke earlier this week and I've went, hmm, I think I'll wait for bigger pictures because I want to actually see what I'm talking about. Also, this week I chose winners in the contest I ran on Patreon. I, it wasn't a lottery. It wasn't a giveaway. It was a contest. Questions were asked, answers were given, winners were chosen. So if you're interested, head over to my Patreon and see what's going on over there. And if you don't care about Patreon, then don't go over there. <laughs> Who gives a shit? So if you like this Foosh Weekly, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on Foosh.